Death Prophet, and he's gonna go straight onto Hanging Sky. Hanging Sky dodges the avalanche, Victor. but the toss is gonna kill him with the DD on Victor. He gets the chaotic offering off, however, um, oh, two man, three man Ravage, Ice Blast comes in, Victor's gonna fall, however, Bowser on the back ends with Death Word. Um, the, the chaotic offering is coming in, getting cleaned up by the OD. That is the problem with uh, Warlock. The OD orbs do extra damage. Um, it looks like uh, the Cliff Soul finishes off the Witch Doctor in the back end. Wilhelm slowed up, uh, uh, stunned up by the Kofi, and he's going to get slowly cleaned up by the Chilling Touch heroes, and that's going to be a three for one on Columbia. They did use their ultimates though, so it's going to be a little hard to push the high ground. Um, they have uh, only 30 seconds, so... Oh, wait, never mind. It has not taken into account. It's a valid significant 1,500 gold. They're peeing out top lane. Looks like they just want to take this tier 2 off of that engagement. Um, and uh, more importantly, Calypso got quite a bit of farm off of that. He's getting... What is he bringing in? He's bringing in his own Shadow Blade. So calypso has got his Shadow Blade up. And they should be able to take this tower with that engagement. Pink's coming out from Victor. He Actually, wants to make the blink in. Wyvern needs to blink out now. Victor TPs directly onto the tower with his boots of travel and he's gonna look to avalanche this he actually oh what was that he misses the avalanche there he could have definitely killed off a wyvern wyvern tp's out in the nick of time and uh goes back to farming and now columbia just waits for their cooldowns pink's coming out from lehigh they spot a jesse and ribrap off on this side however they will be to get out in time and that's more farm time for Columbia. It's still a very close game. Calypso very happy. Oh, that was uh, just a silver edge for um, Calypso. He wants to be able to get rid of the uh, cra craggy exterior off of the tiny. Craggy is one of the most coming spells in the game. Riprap is 2500 away from his Aghanim Scepter. So he's farming decently. Um, as uh, AAs want to do. Uh, OD on the back end with a Shadow Blade. He's going to be looking for a pick off here. His Shadow Blade just expired. He's got a Midas on cooldown though. He wants to be able to use that. And the tower is going to get fortified. And it looks like Columbia are just going to give it up. They're going to try to trade for the tier 1 bottom instead. Um, so tier 1 top goes down. Calypso pushing the tier 1 bottom. And is uh, Lehigh going to make a rotation to try to uh, take this out? They have a fortify up. I do see them using it soon. They didn't fort that tower. That was a little mistake. Um, but they're going to be sieging this 2-2. Victor moving in on the back lines. Let's see his blink rotation. He's going to be able to blink soon. He's going to look for a blink onto Death Prophet. Wyvern is back at base getting mana. TP's out from the OD. What is... What? And Calypso comes in on Wilhelm, and Victor is just sort of hanging out there. TP out from OD. It seems like there was a little miscommunication there from Lehigh. Uh, looked like Victor wanted to go in. Looked like the uh, Viper wanted to go in, but the OD decided he wanted to go bottom to farm, and um, that's going to cost them a Viper for nothing. And we look here on Hanging Sky. He's, halfway, he's almost halfway to his refresher. He is quite farmed on this jungling... Uh, jungling warlock and with the cooldowns now available for columbia they're just gonna walk down mid they're gonna push high ground viper will be up however for this next fight but the issue is um there's no huge team fight ults from lehigh the only thing they can count on is the tiny to blink in and get something done and the exorcism gonna be popped immediately by jesse he's gonna just gonna be sieging this tower it's already taking one fourth damage one uh, tiny, one half damage dd tiny he's gonna try to kill off this um creep wave but the, the tower is just taking so much damage calypso moves forward he's gonna smack away at this tower and uh this tower should be going down quite soon it's at 100 hp 50 hp it's gonna be denied by lehigh and looks like columbia are happy with just the tower they're just gonna back off um, they're playing quite carefully, they need to be, uh, they still have, no, the exorcism just about to wear off, they need to be really careful. Victor's thinking about making a play to go in, he's gonna go in, he's gonna avalanche up Jesse, but that avalanche did no damage because it came out just as the spirits came in, and Wyvern finds out, uh, Witch Doctor by himself, but Victor gonna blink forward, and the, the Agnim's ult hanging sky instantly blows up OD, the Chain Frost comes in, it's gonna clean up, uh, some creeps. But uh, that's going to be another kill. OD dies, Witch Doctor dies to the uh, Tidehunter it looks like. And um, uh, 
Clipsal is now cleaning up. Clipsal is going to clean out the Viper, blink out from Wyvern, and Victor doing his best to try to make plays happen, but he's all by himself now, and this is going to be a Rax for sure. Wyvern, uh, Victor TPing to the bottom lane, trying to get a tier 2 out of this, but he probably won't even be able to get the tier 2 out of this. And it's going to be a Rax for Columbia, and they're very happy with the state of this game now. This is exactly the timing they're looking for to get one Rax. They're going to get this one Rax, they're going to back up, um, take the tier 2s, the rest of the tier 2s, and, um, and then take the Roshan and then go for the rest of the top. Uh, so they're max TPing in. They're max TPing out. Oh, TP canceled by Bazzer, but oh man, he gets Yule's up and instantly blows up the hits from the Warlock Golems, doing tons of damage. Ping's coming out on Victor. They're going to be able to catch out Victor. This is going to be really bad. Victor has the blink available. He's got a blink. He's going to get Spirit Siphon out. Calypso catches Victor from the other end. He's going to start doing damage. Victor tosses Calypso up and he tries to get a kill on Wyvern, but Victor falls. And these pickoffs are coming in one after the other. And this is a huge gold lead. Rax down, gold lead for Columbia. And. They're just waiting for their cooldowns now. 70 seconds on the Tide Hunter. We've got 80 seconds on Hanging Sky. Um, and we've got Exorcism actually up soon. So I think they're going to pop Exorcism for this Aegis, take the rest of the Tier 2s, and then look for, cool uh, look for a high ground push with the Exorcism after this one. Although they could save Exorcism if they don't need it for Roche. What do you think Lehi need to do to get back into this game? It's difficult because they keep on taking fights into the Wombo combo of Columbia. And that's rather... I mean, if they could, they could play... They can't really play a split push game, though, because there's a Shadow Blade Slark, which is capable of pretty much solo picking off anyone. I mean, maybe the Tiny can stun TP. The tiny should be fine. The tiny should be fine. Oh, actually, that's the viper probably, should be fine too. He that's has probably why he went boots of travel on the tiny, if I had to guess. So he could do some sort of split, split push. And it doesn't. It looks like it's going to be a Scotty over a basher for Calypso. So you could always just TP out in front of him. That's probably the only route that I can see they have. But they definitely can't beat him in a head-on fight unless they force them to waste and or miss one of their alts. And I suppose that could be a BKB in order to avoid Ravage. BKB doesn't really help uh, Chaotic Offering. It goes through BKB. And Are you talking about uh, Viper? He's going for Ags. Going for Ags? Yeah, it's Ags on Viper, Ags on... Um... Tiny Ags on our four staff on the Lich. I'm not sure if Ags on Viper's. Um, it will. Uh, it goes through. Uh, I don't think Dark Pack takes it off. Yeah, I, I, it's AIDS. Okay. Like I said, it's really hard to get rid of. Yes, but I think a BKB would be useful. Yeah, it could be useful. Um, I mean, it would theoretically negate Rampage. It wouldn't deal with any. It would deal with Crip Swarm. Doesn't really matter that much. Yeah, just these uh, damages all physical. Um, smoke rotation with, here oh. from Lehigh. They're looking to take Roshan. Um, looks like Columbia is sort of aware. It's a wraparound smoke from Lehigh. Victor's leading the charge. He's going to spot Wyvern. He's going to look to try to blow up Wyvern. Calypso shadow blades up. Wyvern pops the rest of the smoke and he's hiding in the Roshan. Meanwhile, oh no, the OD gets caught out by himself. Jesse gets sheeped up, but Victor's by himself. Chaotic Offering goes onto the Lich. Lich is going to fall. Jesse pops his exorcism now and things are looking really bad. Ravage off the three heroes. Wuhan falls. That is a four for nothing engagement. Bazzard's about to fall as well. Victor the only one to survive. And it was... It was just not very cleanly executed from Lehi, and I think the issue with Lehi's draft is they just don't have any initiation. If the Tiny goes in, what does he do? He avalanche tosses one person, the rest of the team fight just counter initiates. There's just not enough initiation, not enough control for the rest of uh, the ults to go off. Witch Doctor needs control for the Death Ward. Lich needs control for people to stay in place with the We're Chain Frost. OD control. Yeah, exactly. OD needs control to hit people, and there's going to be a buyback onto the Viper. Victor gets a, uh, a avalanche off, but he's about to fall. He gets hit by an Ice Blast. Wilhelm now slowed up. He's not going to be able to get it. Our Lich goes forward with the Chain Frost. That's a lot of damage, but it goes to the creeps, unfortunately. Wilhelm taking a lot of damage. Wyvern may fall. He actually lives, and uh, he gets away just fine. Double kill for Wyvern. 
No buybacks on Lehigh? No buybacks, no buybacks on, on Lehigh. Jesse's chasing into the fountain. Bazaar falls in the fountain. Hanging Sky moves to the fountain to try to clear the Refresher Orb. Courier on Radiant dies with something. But Refresher Orb completed on Hanging Sky. And actually, um, OD respawns just in time. Refresher wasted on Hanging Sky, but whatever. They got they got the racks. They got what they came for. They're just going to back off. Hanging Sky played a little greedy there. Thought he had the game. Thought Lehigh was going to call it GG. But he got his Refresher. They did lose 3,000 gold on the Courier, unfortunately. But they are in such a dominating position. 15,000 gold lead. Uh, four, uh, 13,000 EXP lead. They're just two lanes of racks down, and they should be able to grab this Roshan relatively soon. Maybe Lehigh can move out into a position to take it um, with the cooldowns uh, off. Uh, but Exorcism up in 30. Uh, Ravage is up in 40. And uh, the is Chaotic Offering is already up. He just needs to respawn. Is that a BKB? Okay. Mm, probably a BKB, yeah. He should be able to complete it soon. It looks I like Lehigh, Lehigh isn't gonna make. Uh, it might be what's on the courier, right? Because that number is the number. Yeah, yeah. It, I think that's yeah. That's probably what's on the courier. Yeah, because it's uh, thirteen seventy five for the. Yeah, yeah. That was on the yeah, courier. Thirteen seventy five for the recipe. Sixteen hundred for the middle hammer. Okay. That was on the courier. Yeah. Victor almost has his axe. He's five hundred away. Um, uh, fifteen hundred on the viper for his axe. Four staff completed on the lich. He's got holding on to one thousand, and unfortunately, this um, Bazaar is super poor. Calypso gets dusted, but Calypso doesn't care. He's got a Scotty. Actually, it's impossible for um, it's really hard for them to kill off uh, Columbia's heroes. And the OD stuck here. He's hold hanging out here. He's gonna start doing damage to Hanging Sky, but he's by himself. Ravage onto one hero, the Yule Scepter. Who used that Yule Scepter? Jesse. Jesse, that was uh, actually messed up the Ravage there, but it doesn't matter. That's two kills, and that should be the game. They should be able to head straight to the throne and end the game at this point. Are there buybacks on Lehigh? There's a buyback on OD. There's a buyback on OD, so maybe not the game, but they'll be able to take uh, either top racks or Roshan if they are, want to, or top tower rather, since the tier 2 is not available. And it looks like they're going to opt to go for the Roshan, the safer play, take the Rosh, and then move and take in the tier 2 and the Mega Creeps and clean this game out. Uh, they've got Ravage up in 100 seconds, so they want to wait for the Ravage. Um, and Pipe looks like the item for choice for Wyvern, so they're they're just playing full out um, you can't kill me strategy here with the uh, HP, Silver Edge, Scotty on Calypso, Pipe Greaves on Wyvern. Um, we've got an Axe completed on Rib Rap already, so his Ice Blast does tons of damage. Atos on the Death Prophet, and he's going in, looks like, for a Shiva's Guard, um, and Hanging Sky uh, has his Axe as well. Very and tanky team. And Courier respawns in like five seconds, and then I'm assuming we'll see Death Prophet's BKB. Yeah, Death Prophet will have BKB as well and on top of the Shiva's Guard. Yeah, it's it is her BKB. Out. It's her BKB. Yeah. So uh, Lehigh is in a really bad spot. Looks like Lich is going for a Veil of Discord with his for his next item, but that's going to be countered by Pipe. And these Axes are so close, but so far. Uh, it looks like Axe was completed for Victor, but his attack speed is so low now. He needs a Moon Shard or something. And the Axe for Viper has been sitting at 1500 for quite a few minutes now. With the um, ults available on Columbia, they're going to be looking to make a push now onto the top. Uh, tier 2, they've got 40 seconds on Ravage. They've got 70 seconds, however, on Exorcism. So the timing. And Chaotic Offering is up. Yeah, double Chaotic Offering is up. But the timing is not working out quite well for their push at the moment. I think they should farm up, wait a little bit longer. They don't need the ults for the tier 2. Uh, Lehigh is probably going to give up the tier 2, but they uh, do want the ults uh, for the high ground push. Wait on this Exorcism's no, no, gonna. Yeah, Exorcism's gonna take a while. So it looks like. Um, BKB They're just and Shiva's are both done for the death profit. Yeah. Columbia's just gonna uh, utilize two heroes to take the tier two and then wait for the rest of the cooldowns. Exorcism up in 30. Now if uh, Jesse starts heading up towards the top lane, they should be able to keep Lehigh stuck in their base while they wait for the rest of their ults, and then they'll move in with the ults and be able to clean up the game. Victor doing his best to split push forces a TP rotation from Wyvern. Victor gonna TP out. He could have used the Ravage there, but that probably wouldn't have been worth it. No one else was in position. But that's going to stop the split push from Victor for the time being. Victor will not be able to get any split push. Ping's coming out here from uh, Hanging Sky. Uh, they know there's a sentry there, and they're going to deward it. Calypso was able to figure it out. 
And uh, this is going to be high ground now. Exorcism is ready. Double Chaotic if ref Offering is ready. Ravage is ready. Ice Blast is ready. This is about the best they have. If Ehi wins this fight, it would be a miracle. Um, it's it's going to be so hard for them to win the fight. We've got uh, the OD hanging out on the back end, along with Tiny. They're going to look to hit someone on the back end, pick someone off, but the tower is already going down. Rax taking tons of damage. Is there a uh, Fortify? There's a Fortify. Chain Frost comes in. OD comes in, but the Ravage comes immediately. OD gets blown up immediately. Uh, Atos onto Victor. He's stuck there. This uh, uh, back end, the Witch Doctor is ulting nothing, and Victor and the OD come in by themselves and they're gonna die. Victor buys back. Does OD have buyback? No. He does not have buyback. Fart just jumps in because he has his um, uh, Aegis and the Refresher comes out with a second Chaotic Offering. Victor's doing his best to survive. Slark blinks forward. Victor's gonna die back. It's gonna be another kill. Um, the Viper comes out and GG is gonna be called um, by Victor. Good luck further. And the series is gonna be taken by Columbia. Going back to their team fight oriented Wombo Combo draft after a failed something in the second game. And they're gonna be able to close out the series 2-1. to one. And Hanging Sky will now tell us that Jungle Warlock is a legitimate strategy. Indeed. Alright, I'm, I'm looking forward, Hanging Sky.